attention to how the trap will <laughs> 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 Hey guys, Third Street Reactions is back here with you. I'm Tom. Shane. We are back with Vox Machina. It's been a while. Season 2, episode 11. It's been a while since we filmed these. Uh, we got ahead on them and then we got behind on them. Love the show a lot. I'm glad you've been able to be here with me. Uh, last time, man. Scanlan. His sins have caught up. That happened to you. Something similar happened to you. I, I, I can't <laughs> speak of such things, but <laughs> I will also say that uh, Grog had a uh, little... He had his big moment, didn't he? Yeah, he defaces past a little bit. Deal with uh, the I think it's called the Goliath herd, isn't it? A couple episodes before that, it showed us his backstory where mm. he stood up for uh, Pike's grandfather, and uh, you know, and that was so weird to me because I mean, as a character moment, I mean, all these people they kill all these men and women. Um, we didn't see them kill children on screen, but you might you might be able to make that assumption based on like how they feel about them, right? There was a ton of people who were killed in that opening when they're all coming in on the field. And then you see this old guy, and it's like, oh, he's not a fighter. And you feel bad. And then you yeah. betray your cousin, your uncle, your friend, your whole herd, your family for this old guy that you don't, you don't even know. So it just, I, I think it would have been better for me if it was like Baby Pike or something. Like, you don't want to kill a baby. Because, I, like, all throughout history, we had these terrible regimes. And and it's been reported that, and I know the Nazis, obviously, I know they flung babies in here and killed them. There's also testimony of German soldiers and just different regimes. They, they did not want to kill children. Uh, a lot of them end up doing it anyway. But, yeah, so I, I think that would have been more captivating than some fucking old guy. But I love the relationship with Grog and Pike, though. It's oh, I, I love it, but I feel like it would have been, I don't know. I mean, I, I know there's supposed to be the same season of life like i think giants age differently maybe yeah. uh obviously gnomes like uh, uh scanlan obviously he they age differently because you know his daughter like they look the same damn age right you know what i mean right so i don't know if he's in his 40s or 50s i have no idea these shows are relatively short i mean this one next one's like 27 minutes and i'm just yeah. thinking a lot's gonna kind of have to happen to wrap up because we've only got two more to go yeah I mean, there's multiple seasons of this coming though so, uh, anyways, guys, is Scanlan, is, uh, you know, is he got to pay back child support? Tom, what do you think about that? <laughs> Try not to. Yep. Or uh, is Grog going to fundamentally change as a character because of, uh, you know, him standing up to his past, his, maybe his inner demons? He now has, um, <coughs> Jesus. Oh, man. He now has the gauntlets. I can't remember what they're called. He now has the gauntlets. Is he fundamentally different? Uh, the character that we have seen that has changed a little bit is Vex. I'm sorry, Vax. So, you fucked it up last time. You told me Vex is Vax, Vax is Vex. Guys, if you want to support us, we have we have up to four weeks early access on Patreon, and we have uh, full length as well. Let's jump in. You came up here to sleep with your daughter. No, 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 I mean, no. I, I, oh, I, boy. I, I wouldn't have let it get that far. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I had no idea you existed. I recognize your eyes, your ears, your hair, so much like your mother. I'll never forget meeting her. It was love at first sight. We talked till sunrise about music and dirty jokes, our hopes and fears. Why do you say hair? She don't got no purple hair. Every moment with her showed me a new way to be happy. Thought I'd find romance. Whoa! Oh shit! She unlocked oh. my soul. Oh! God damn! I really, I really read that wrong, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't want to go with him. We've all been there. The world got in the way. Oh, he got arrested. Or did he? Or is he just in a carriage? In all these years, I never got over Leia. Somewhere, our love could live forever. It'd be funny if it wasn't Leia. That's not my mom. <laughs> oh my god. Are you sure? You fucking asshole! Well, uh, wait, wait, uh, Phoebe, Janet, Bert? <laughs> that is just... <laughs> oh. Yeah, you called that one though, dude. I, I feel like it starts with a C. Her name was Sybil, and you left her like she was nothing. Just another one of your conquests to bed. Mom raised me alone. Struggled endlessly to support us. She deserved better. But instead, she got you. I'm not sure why I'm this way. But my heart is breaking a hundred times for not knowing about you. Stab me. I won't resist. You've earned it. No. That 
be helping you run away again. I'll leave you with this burden. It's yours now, Dad. He did save your life in the village. So that's gotta count for something, right? Think out. Please just I don't get it. So I said you can certainly Me? Oh thank you. Remember like the idea of them all teaming up even though they were like killing so many people in that village? They're all drinking now. Matron of Ravens. Yep. Wow, that's just an awful deal. Please, usher us into the beyond. Yep. What do you want from me? Have you ever had your life change and don't know what comes next? Change is constant. Running has always been my answer. I'm starting to think that, yeah, the worst things in life come from fear, but maybe the best things do too. Oh, uh, sorry. This isn't helpful. You're saying you can't let fear hold you back. I guess I am. Take the plunge. Nice scene. There's one more item to acquire. Another vestige. Even more powerful than this. More distractions! I assure you, my king, all will be delivered in time. If this delays you by even a day, Aprasim, your flesh will burn. He underestimates your power. Come With on, those lady. Gauntlets, you wouldn't have to grovel to Thordak any longer. One last connection. And I get resources. <sighs> How did she warm her way? Looks like you didn't sleep a wink. Uh, hey, Pike, can I ask for some priestly advice? I guess. So you just found out you had a, a puppy, and you try to sleep with that puppy. <laughs> oh, please, God, tell me this is a metaphor. We need a good plan. So... Do you uh, have one? Have one what? Perhaps I can be of assistance. For starters, a dragon has an aerial advantage, so it's vital we keep it grounded. You can come out, Vex. I heard you four blocks ago. Don't flatter yourself. I wasn't the one making that racket. <laughs> Hi. Oh, wow. You guys are good. So, care to tell us why you're sneaking out? The matron of ravens. She's in my head, calling, and I need to find these answers on my own. Do not go far from me. They're into torture and starvation and ceremonial playing and enemas and <gasps> stuff. I know you have feelings for him. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this isn't something we have to talk about now. I know my brother. And I know he still cares for you. You think? With all of this to deal with? I mean, does that even matter? It always matters. Vex, what should I do? Don't let him get away. Hmm. If there's some sort of pact between us, I'm here to honor it. What would you have of me? Did you step in that? Nope. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Not just honor bound, but he's being haunt haunted, you know? So how do you, I, I feel like I would misread that situation. Like, no, you weren't supposed to go down there. Yep, see, I would, I would just be like, oh, that sucks. To like Constantine, you have to die to get reborn or some shit. Right. Yep, 
See, couldn't do it. You've come at last. My sister lives. That debt will be paid. What do you want? My life? My soul. The threads of fate are not puppet strings. They connect life to destiny. destiny. Your mother, your sister, even you. We must safeguard that beautiful moment when the soul transitions to a new purpose. You want me to shepherd them? In a sense. Do you accept this charge? I accept. My beautiful champion. There is much to fear, but not death, for it gives meaning to life. What the fuck? I'm fine. I'm better than fine. You are not! I saw her. The path we're on, it's the right one. And she's watching. I'll explain on the way. Okay. It's one of those weird things where he seems a little too optimistic. Yeah. When coupled with the jaw hinge tension screw, delivers the restraint, <laughs> anchoring the target to the base plate. Simplicity itself. What you dig there? <laughs> Pay attention to how the trap will. <laughs> <laughs> this belongs to you now, Kevdex Bloodex. Um, do you talk? I'll take it. <laughs> hey, Kramer. Kaylee, I... That's when you burnt the coffee. I'll take it. <laughs> Kenny, tell me where you're going. What do you care? Look, something has always been lacking in me. I realize I'm not the dad you wanted, but I could try to be. After all the wrong you've done, you'd have to do a hell of a lot right. I don't want anything from you. I mean, like, I need to see the situation. Was this girl, like, you know, was she pregnant and did he leave? Like... Or did he just not know? Because you could say, hey, you shouldn't be sleeping with a ton of people. But, you know, that, that's much different than, like, if she was pregnant and he left anyways, you know? Right. He made it sound like he didn't know about her, so... It's always good when you don't hear the plan, Tom. Someone said that they have true sight. And they can see, like, if people are hidden. Or maybe it's hidden from magic. Yet, you are wise to not show your faces today. That's just not good, Tom. Nice. That's just like a terrible like, way to die, dude. Yeah. Can't hit what you can't see. You're trying to get yourself killed. Dude, you're lucky, man. I found out I'm the champion of the Matron of Ravens. I found out I'm a father. You, you win. <laughs> We need to get inside that dragon. A mouthful of acid, no way. There is a way. The other way. Ew. Dude, what is it with this show? Like, you know, they had to shove a pill up Grog's ass. Be dark, but yeah, this is terrible. Right, let's see this fucker try to fly away now. <laughs> you leave when Scanlan Short Hulk tells you to leave.
possessed it, and I will possess them all! <laughs> Go in your broom. The Nimbus 3000. <laughs> I was pretty into that episode, especially in the end, Dan. Yeah. Um, I, I guess let's get to, uh, is it Kay Kaylee? Yeah, so his daughter, Kaylee, we believe. I, I just need to know more information about the situation. That's bothering you, isn't it? It bothers me, yeah. It, well, if, if he just left a pregnant girl, that bothers me. But if he didn't know, you know. He's, you know, they both made the decision to have sex irresponsibly, you know? You don't know what you don't know. Yeah. You know. It's, it seems like, I mean, did he lie? Did he trick this girl and say he was going to marry her and then he banged her and then just left? You know what I'm saying? Like, so is your contention that Kaylee might be a little bit out of line with how she's treating him? Uh, yeah. yeah. So I just, I don't know. You grew up without a dad, okay? And your situation is different than that one, but like. I, I imagine when you grow up that way, you just find all these reasons to hate the person. Um, but I, I feel like we don't have enough information. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he seemed like he didn't know he had a daughter. Therefore, I think he doesn't know what he doesn't know. Well, I don't know how old she is. I mean, she's obviously old enough to be, be fighting and be in, involved in a war of some sort. Yeah. But, uh, you know, maybe she just, like me, somewhere along the line, I reached that point where... You know, you just kind of have to choose forgiveness, not for anyone else, but for yourself. Yeah. Right? And like, maybe she's just not at that place yet, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just like she's saying you've done a lot of horrible things. Like, what horrible things has he done? Just sleeping with people? And how does she know? Yeah, how does she know? And like, is that that terrible? If these people are consenting left and right, baby? I mean, you're all being irresponsible if you ask me. Yeah. Because, you know, I do think that's irresponsible, just to sleep with a bunch of people you don't know. You know what I mean? Because, but there's consequences to that, and those consequences are, you know, he has a child he didn't know about. Right. And she's mad at him for being irresponsible. I think that's okay, but not for being a piece of shit. Like, what, what, you, know, you, you know what I mean? Like, you've done so many terrible things. Like, what has he done? Yeah. You know, that, that's my question, so... Um, I feel like uh, if he didn't know, and now he that now that he does know, he wants to make it up to her. I think it's hard to do, but I don't think you can. I don't know. You, you can say, well, hey, it's all good. You know, don't worry about it. But like, I don't think she, like the she can hate him like with murderous intent, like justifiably. If you ask me. One of the first notes that I wrote was, man, that flashback that Scanlan had would ended up not being Kaylee's mom, but yeah, those little D and D like. Baldur's Gate type taverns. I just love those. I remember playing Baldur's Gate for the first time on the GameCube. Yeah. And just spending so much time just walking around in, in those little taverns and talking to people in there. And Yeah. You know, I mean, the more modern games now, even ones are not not based on D&D, &D, you know, you can go sit down, you can have a drink, you can talk to people. And I always enjoyed immersing myself in that in yeah that i i mean like I, I played a lot more japanese rpgs and western ones although mass effect trilogy is like i think the greatest trilogy ever made but um i i understand what you mean so uh i, I haven't played Baldur's gate any of them but i know they're from bioware and they have a hell of a pedigree at least they did you know we'll see the jury's out to see if uh mass effect 4 is gonna be any good or whatever i uh you know growing up kind of being a hopeless romantic you know i always played those things and just dreamed about being in another world and everything else, you know what I mean? All right, so, um, can't remember his name, but the Acid Dragon. It, it's interesting because I don't say I feel for him a little bit. I just think dragons are so cool, and green is, like, my favorite color. So, uh, but I do hate the way he kills people, like the acid stuff. That's terrible. That is terrible. But you you asked a good question, though. That girl mm -hmm. that's with him, how I don't even remember, honestly, how she weaseled her way in and... Well, it happened off screen. Um, like, what kind of power does she have? Like, what bargaining chip does she have? Well, the idea is because of the events of her life in the last season, she's just really good at getting into people with power. And she kind of goes for, like, the corrupt people. And she herself is a piece of shit for torturing, I think it was Percy and her sister. Uh, she, I mean, you know, betraying that family. She's a piece of shit. And I know she teamed up with him, helped him at the end of uh, the last season. But she did that because I think she was going to die too. So, and now she's with uh, these other people who just literally want to just destroy the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dragons, they're supposed to be, and I haven't played enough D&D &D to know this, except for what people have told me. But uh, 
in, f in other forms of fiction, like the ones that are sentient are like hundreds or thousands of years old. They're very smart. They're wise. You can't trick them. You think some 20-something-year-old girl who's just weaseled away in there, do you think she's going to get him to have these feelings like, oh, yeah, I'm not appreciated. I don't think she can do that. I think that's, to me, that's a stretch. I think he'd be just as liable just to squash her like a bug. Yeah, why is she, <laughs> well, how does she get into his inner circle? Yeah. Which it just constitutes him and her, I think. I, I like those type of characters, but I just don't, I didn't like her enough or knew enough about how smart she was for me to get behind them teaming up. Yeah. Uh, I sound like I'm crapping on the episode. I, I love the episode. I love the show. I'm just I'm just nitpicking a couple little things, and, and that's really it. I, I love the fight at the oh, end. The fight was awesome, man. And uh, I love it when the whole group is together, mm -hmm. and they're just like going all in. Yeah, I just I I love it. And we knew. I mean, we kind of assumed that that was going to be this kind of like ending sequence fight. But man, you know, it's just I know that there's more coming along the line in the future. But I just I hate for the season to end. Yeah, me too. You know, like in terms of the fate of all the characters, how the the whole story, the whole campaign wraps up. That that's happened, I believe, already. But I, I think it's a long journey. Hopefully, uh, this show will keep going. Uh, I'm not gonna look any of that stuff up. I don't want to be spoiled. I want my canon to be this show because right. I really like it a lot. <laughs> um, anyways, I think that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to support us, check us out on Patreon. Check out our merch. Sorry, there's pens in there, but uh, we're out of here. <laughs>